was Harwood's 21st birthday tonight, would he celebrate with a win or would Edward spoil it? So it's at the light welterweight limit, this. That's the 10 stone division. It's only two minute duration. Steve Harwood from Leeds and Billy Edwards from London. And the Yorkshire lads in the red trunks. We've, uh, we've had Billy Edwards on the Fight Night series before. He defeated Vince Bailey at Digbeth recently. Hard looking nut, but uh, 11 fights. He's actually only one four and one drawn. But on the showing with Vince Bailey, he looked a bit useful. Harwood, but it's connecting. There's a bit of blood now. He's cut already, Edwards. I don't know when that could have happened, Jim. Well, there's obviously punches haven't there, and then the head clashes yet, so it must have been a couple of upper uppercuts Harwood's just thrown. It's on the left cheek, a bit unusual. Such a thing as a good cut, Jim. I suppose the second should be able to work on that all right. It's well away from trouble. Yes, it's below the eye too, so even if it does bleed a bit, it's not going to interfere with his vision or anything else. But uh, nobody likes to be cut, especially in the first round. There's a bit of swelling too, which is going to cause the cut to open and look worse. If uh, the swelling gets any worse, it's possible the referee would have to stop the fight, even though it's not interfering with it. Thing is, uh, Edward's left eye, if you remember, Jim, was injured in the Bailey fight, so he's quite used to it. That's right, that's right. Oh. And there's the former like, worldweight champion, Vic Andretti. I think he's going to call the referee over. He doesn't want to take care of that. And they're arguing in the corner, but Vic... An ex-boxer is probably saying, I don't think you should box on with that. A little bit of compassion there from the manager. But uh, Red Brennan, his trainer, is just trying to put a coagulate in there. They may be using up the minute of the round. There's Victor Andretti, former champion. But I think he's letting the boxer have his way here. He wasn't very keen on letting him come out for the second. That's unusual, Jim, isn't it? Yeah, it is unusual, but maybe, I, I don't know the fighter personally, but maybe he's just one of these guys, uh, you maybe not see him for six months if you stop a fight in the first round. Maybe he's one of these proud fellows, and Vic's maybe going to give him a round or two to see if he can turn the tables. Well, some of us Cockney fellas are proud fellas, you know. Yeah, there he goes, so running off his second stool. round, and uh, he's really going to have a go here, Edwards, because I suppose he figures, oh, and he did, he nearly stood him on his head with that left hook. There it is again. That's the way to come out firing. And Harwood bang in trouble. He's done the right thing there going down and taking the count. He can get up at any time. They don't have mandatory counts here. Referee waves play on, although you could hardly call this play. And Edwards is not missing him with the left hook. What a way to come out firing, Jim. Yeah, well, I've got to respect this kind of courage. He's made up his mind what he wants to do and he's getting on with it. Good left hooks, every one of them. Harwood has very little defence, he's very open, see his hands are down all the time. He really, he really bent in half there as he went down, he wobbled. Oh, referee's had a quick look at him, let him go on. It's only two minute rounds, remember, if he can hang on for dear life here, he might be okay, but Edwards is really, he's got to stop it now, surely. Yes, it's all over, what a turnaround that was. It really was. Billy Edwards from London looking all over and definitely the manager there, Victor Andretti, did not want him to go on. But Red Brennan there, who used the coagulates, uh, said, come on, let's try one more round. And the kid gave it all he's got. And there's manager Trevor Callaghan saying, well, that's how it happens in this game. Let's have a look at some replay there. You can see easily there where the lads come up. But this Lee Fearson, when he comes charging in right at us with the camera there, he's pinning Harwood in the corner, and he really is buckling under that firepower. And I can understand. He's in the world's top ten.